Every morning I draw. My son Max. He loves dinosaurs, or loved dinosaurs when he was a baby, when he was younger. Uh, they grow up so fast. Too fast, right? And my older son, he loved construction vehicles. So, Dino and Digger is my comic book. And it tells the story of a team that, you know, saves the world. And the two major team members in this case is Dino and Digger. Dino is Mega. <coughs> Mega is a dinosaur humanoid. And Mega wears an exosuit and drives a transforming excavator called Z-Tech. And you can see what's happening on dinoanddigger.com. But basically they're putting together a recipe and they have to gather the ingredients and they're doing this to like I said save the world and in particular the health of our future leaders right now They've come to a factory in the big city and their mission objective right now is to take over this factory to start production on the on the food products. But when they got there the guardians of the of the factory started to battle them. So we're in the middle of a battle right now. <clears throat> and um, Mega here in, in Z-Tech is fighting the, the leader of the Guardians. And the, guard, the leader of the Guardians just tried to do a double leg takedown. And so uh, they did a move to escape and the metaphor here, basically, what's going to happen is that Mega is going to convince this leader that it's not worth it to work for the bad guys. And the metaphor is that the the uh, perceived benefit of using the ingredients that are currently being used, you know, this is a, a bull, so obviously I'm talking about animal products, uh, the perceived benefits aren't worth it long term we're talking about human health and global health meaning the environment 
you know, the help that our children's children are going to inherit. And, uh, some people will complain, they'll talk about how bad animal products are, which is true, and I did that, but it didn't get me anywhere. In fact, it got me into trouble. People don't want to hear that, and it's not productive. So... Master Lukey brand major focus is providing providing a better way not just MMA but now nutrition and you know I'm doing my 21 days of dino scales I'm probably on day 7 right now and Mega is a dinosaur, so it all ties in. I gave some dino scales to the kids at my gym yesterday. They enjoyed it. You know, people have to be guided. Some people say, oh, well, the kids won't eat healthy. The kids will eat whatever you give them. And don't cause suffering to children because you either don't know how to cook or don't have the energy to cook because of what you ate. I'm sorry. I'm not going to criticize anymore. But if I do, please forgive me. I'm only human. I do the best I can. And I will never, ever, whoop, stop, even if I make a mistake. The Dino Warrior Diet. It's not just the Dino Diet. It's the Dino Warrior Diet. And the reason why it's the Dino Warrior Diet is because not only am I eating only Dino Scales... But I'm also not eating until the end of the day. That's the warrior diet. And it's based on evolutionary theory that we, you know, we don't have refrigerators in nature. And therefore, we would have had to spend the morning and afternoon gathering food and whatnot. What I just put in here, let me set the camera up. What I just put in this pot is uh, lemon and ginger juice that I made. So I am consuming other calories, as small as it may be. But the only physical substance I'm eating is the dino scales. And so I did my workout today, and now I'm going to make dinner. So set this camera up over here. I'll do anything to be successful. I should clarify. I'll do anything that I feel is right. Meaning I'm I'm going to work very hard. I do work hard. And I'll continue, you know, I could I'll continue to persevere. Dad came by today, you know, he lets me stay here for free in his basement, and he's trying to get me to go to nursing school, 
And he says, you know, you've been at this for how many years now and you're not successful. So just give up, he says to me. And I said, you know something, Pop? I'm going out on my shield. If you don't know what that means, it means I would rather die than give up. My life is dedicated in service now. I'm not just in it to get my kids back. Although that's honestly a major motivator, I believe that what I can provide the whole world needs. And that's a safe way to do MMA and health food that's marketable for kids. And I don't want to get in trouble making these videos because I do have an ongoing family court case where I'm trying to get visitation with my sons. But at this point, you know, I don't know what else to do. I... I need your help. If you're watching. I need your help because I can't do this alone. The League of Champions is a team. And I want your feedback. Do you think that I should stop talking about my kids? Should I just focus on the MMA? Should I talk about health? I don't want to be a negative Nelly and just complain about bullshit. Excuse my language. Uh, as valid as the points may be, maybe you don't want to hear about the things that are being fed to children that's very toxic. Maybe you just want to see martial arts action. And you want to see my recipes, but you don't want to hear about the other stuff. Be honest with me, okay? If you don't mind, I'll just throw them some things in here and there. Like, for example, when I was the primary care provider for my children, they were never sick. Period. Never had to be medicated. God knows what's going on now. I'm not allowed to know. <sighs> but uh, maybe God wants me to be alone so I can focus. Whoa. Sweet dino cream. What good is complaining anyway? I mean, when it comes down to it, the only thing that's gonna get my kids back is me becoming successful, my brand being successful, and then me, me being able to provide for them.